हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स अकीड मी दिस इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स बाय मंसन एंड दिस इज प्रॉब्लम दिस इज एक्सरसाइज 17 सो इन 17 इट इज सेड दैट इफ वी इज अ वेलोसिटी एल इज लेंथ एंड वी इज फ्लूड प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज द काइनेमेटिक विस्कोसिटी हैविंग डायमेंशंस एल टू द पावर 2 टी टू द पावर माइनस 1 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉम्बिनेशंस आर डायमेंशनलेस सो इन पार्ट ए वी आर गिवन दैट इन पार्ट ए we have v l and v so we have to prove that whether uh, which of the combination is dimensionless so v l v so we have capital v this is capital v l and then small v so capital v is velocity and small v is kinematic viscosity so first let me write that capital v which is velocity uh, this is equal to uh, meter per second so its dimension will be for meter we have to write l and for 1 divided by s that is second we need to write t to the power minus 1 so these are the dimensions of the velocity and for length the dimensions are l and for v viscosity that is given that is l square t to the power minus 1 so now this is equal to the dimensions is equal to so for v we have to write that is l t to the power minus 1 let me write it like this this is l t to the power minus 1 this is for velocity and then for length we have l and for viscosity we have l to the power 2 t to the power minus 1 so now multiply the similar parameters that is l with l and t with t so we need to add up the power so this l to the power plus 1 plus 1 and it is plus 2 so plus 1 plus 1 and plus 2 and t to the power minus 1 and minus 1 so this gives us l to the power plus 4 and t to the power minus 2 so velocity times length times the kinematic viscosity it's it's not the dimensionless combination so for b this is not dimensionless now the second combination is uh, velocity velocity uh, times l divided by viscosity now this is now again the velocity is l t to the power minus 1 and length is l divided by viscosity so viscosity is l square t to the power minus 1 so now this is v into l divided by v this is equal to so in the in the numerator that is l we need to multiply l with l so that will powers will add up so that will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 t to the power minus 1 so this is l to the power plus 1 and this is plus 1 so that will give us plus 2 so this is l to the power plus 2 and t to the power minus 1 and similarly if we bring these to the numerator so their signs will become opposite so we will have l to the power minus 2 and t to the power plus 1 and now if you multiply the similar quantity so that will be l plus 2 minus 2 and that is t to the power minus 1 plus 1 so this gives us l to the power 0 and t to the power 0 so this means that this combination is dimensionless this is now in part c we have v square into v so that is v square in part c we have velocity square into viscosity so now velocity is we know that velocity is length uh, meter per second so that is l to the power uh, l into t minus 1 so when we make it square we need to write it uh, l square and t to the power minus 2 So this is v square so that is v square is l square t 
3 to the power minus 2 and multiply by viscosity so viscosity is given that is L square t to the power minus 1 this is L square t to the power minus 1 so now this is uh, we need to add up the power so that is plus 2 plus 2 and t to the power minus 2 minus 1 so this gives us L to the power plus 4 this is plus 2 and t to the power minus 3 so this means that uh, velocity squares time viscosity is not a dimensionless combination now in part d part d is v velocity divided by length times viscosity so velocity divided by length times viscosity so again velocity is l t to the power minus 1 and length is L into viscosity and again viscosity is L square t to the power minus 1 this is given in the problem statement so now let's multiply the similar parameters or the similar dimensions in the denominator so that will be this is L to the power plus 1 so L to the power plus 1 plus 2 and t to the power minus 1 so this gives us this gives us L to the power plus 3 And similarly, if we bring these to the numerator, so their signs will become opposite sign. And we will have L t to the power minus 1, L to the power minus 3, and t to the power plus 1. So this is L plus 1 minus 3, and t minus 1 plus 1. So this is equal to l to the power minus 2 and t to the power 0 so again uh, velocity divided by the length time viscosity it's not a dimensionless uh, combination it has some dimension that is l to the power minus 2 and t to the power 0 so only one combination is dimensionless and that is uh, velocity times l divided by the viscosity it's dimensionless so this is the solution of this exercise. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for such more problems from fluid mechanics by Munson.